Here's our MC Phil Seymour to welcome out the players. Thanks, Jill. Good evening and a very warm welcome to the final of the Johnston's Paint Tour Championship, where this packed house is ready to be champion here in Manchester. It's the best of 19 frames. Welcome your finalists. We begin with one of Wales' greatest ever sportsman with 25 rank event wins. He's a three-time world champion, the Welsh potting machine, Mark Williams. Good game, Mark. All the best. And his opponent, the most successful player in the history of the sport, a former winner of this event. He's a record-breaking eight-time UK and Masters champion and seven-time champion of the world, the Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan! Some big sessions of snooker this week, but in the words of that great Manchester band, the Stone Roses, this is the one. This is the one that really matters. This is the one where the trophy will be handed out. Will it be Ronnie O'Sullivan or Mark Williams? Williams started well, 3 1 up. O'Sullivan struggling a little. He didn't struggle for long. Three centuries. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Four frame winning burst of just you. 37 minutes have put him two in front. As Thank we you. restart, the crowd are excited. You can't blame Frame them. Nine. But here we Radio go. Sullivan to break. The final session of the Tour Championship final. Two players with vast experience, of course, of these big nights. Williams was just shut out. The odd mistake, that's all it was. Of Sullivan was rampant for four frames. And the way he just clicked into gear was quite sensational. Highest break before the interval, 40. And then came within four frames, he'd had three centuries. I know, it was quite incredible, wasn't it? And that's what O'Sullivan can do. And this man was going to stem the tide some way. That's well within him. He's playing wonderful snooker himself. He's playing good safety. And how do you counteract this genius, Ronnie O'Sullivan? You've got to keep him where he is at the moment. What a spectacle, two of the greats in such a wonderful arena as well, David. Great crowds. No, that's right. Just as we get started, I mean, coming here to Manchester was inspired, wasn't it? It's a wonderful venue, Manchester Central. We had the mixed doubles last weekend. This event has been so well attended. And they're in for some night, I think. But, of course, we're restarting. I'm sure Sullivan would like to have carried on. It's been quite a, a while, actually, about three and a half hours since a session ended. So just getting back into it again. Big four frames for Williams here at this mini session. Can't really afford to lose it. Opening four frames, Williams kept it really tight, played some excellent safety, kept Ronnie at bay. That's exactly what he's going to try and do tonight, try and break his rhythm, break his flow, at the same time keep his own rhythm and try and score what the lads were saying in the studio. He's just got to score a little bit heavier when he gets the chance.
Not a seat to be had. There's Tony Knowles in amongst the throng, enjoying the action here. Legendary player of yesteryear, watching two all-time legends here. Pitching ball. He was having a look at a possible route back to Bork, but probably too risky when those two reds just left to the blue. So Ronnie holds the slight advantage in this little tit for tat at the moment. Trying to separate a red here from the, the other bunch and to try and stop Mark Williams from able to just nestle into them each time. Every time he's getting the ball so close to this top cushion, and Mark Williams can't play the screw back back to behind the black, so he's decided to go up into the ball, and this time he's played a good shot. those frames where the balls are whoever gets the first good chance you would fancy strongly to win the frame that's why this safety battle is so important well there's mac williams eyeing up this red into the left center it's very risky it's cuttable contemplating it but very high tariff Doesn't like it. Well, 
know, it's like a game of chess right now, more than snooker, isn't it? But uh, both so wary of each other, and that's through long experience, of course. Head to head, favouring O'Sullivan, pretty comfortably 33 9, but we heard the way Ronnie spoke glowingly about Mark Williams in his interview. Williams, of course, did beat him at the Masters last year in a pretty pulsating atmosphere at Alexandra Palace in London. Average frame time in the match is only 12 and a half minutes. This frame's been going nine and not a ball has been potted. It's still fascinating though, isn't it? It was going to take the first pawn in this game of chess with balls. So crucial whoever gets in for us here into a situation of the Reds, of course. That's why they're giving it every ounce of concentration, even with the safety shots here. Well, you can't blame him for taking a bit of time to work this out. I mean, he's, we've seen, he's seen firsthand the former Sullivan's in the scoring form. Just can't afford, with the balls where they are, to leave him a red. As he spotted a red into the left center pocket, mm, took it on. So, Williams, the first to bulk. Thank you. That's enough now. So, well, it was worth to go if it went in. The little battle, the safety duel, but he hasn't taken advantage. Mark Williams was out of his seat pretty quick there, sensing now a chance, a big chance in the opening frame. One. His highest break of the day, 91 in frame three. He had three other breaks in the 60s before the first interval. Four. Yeah, the situations like this that Mark Williams would have been hoping for, particularly early on in this evening session. He's got to try and score from this and win the frame one visit. Seven. Black is tied up. Try and play for the pink and blue here. 
8. Just having a look if the pink is spotted. Well, the pink as well. See where the pink goes, and will it be available to any and into any of the pockets? Mm. Fourteen. Maybe available just into the left center, but that's no good to mark. It's gone wrong. I'm trying to make something happen 20. there. You didn't have a great angle on the blue, but I'm trying to bring some reds and even that pink into play there, but no good. I'm just gonna have to cut this one in from distance. So chance missed. Mark Williams twenty. shot there from Ronnie O'Sullivan using the red off the cushion into the pack and freeing up the pink now puts down a little bit of extra pressure on Mark Williams here the proximity of this red to the left corner pocket making the safety shot a lot more difficult if he does play safe he may be forced to take another red on here You can't quite get comfortable here with his. But then he goes. Yeah. But, yeah, the big colours are gone awkward as well. I mean, about five minutes ago, the table looked right for scoring, but things have sort of gone wrong, and now blue and pink sort of tied up together off of this shot, black on the cushion, so. It's hard work. Ronnie Sullivan one. Remember, it's 24 years since they last played each other in a ranking final. It seems bizarre, really, considering 
that between them they've won 66 ranking titles. to get the cue ball back into the bulk area but has he left this red no he hasn't so it's not too bad He's not looking on the red into the left corner. He obviously feels it doesn't pot. Terrific pot this, but where the cue ball is here, hand on the cushion. Four. So, a chance for O'Sullivan to get going in this final session. Five. 30 years ago to the day that he won his second ranking title. He'd won the UK Championship. He won the British Open on this day in 1994. Tonight he's looking for his 42nd. And if anything, his focus this season has been better yeah. than ever. When he's turned up, he really has turned up. Determined to win tournaments. He's already won five. Twelve. And in every one of them, and it's been the same even today, there's been, been these bursts of inspiration. We saw it against Gary Wilson, the way he finished off. We saw it against Ding, against Ali Carter in those big finals. Just finding that extra gear. Yeah, that's 18. a good point you make. He's able to, even when players have come close or threatened to him, he's able to go up those extra few gears 19. every single time when he goes to the tank. He's always got it there in reserve and in abundance. Red go right through the gap. 32. No, it doesn't. Didn't play on it. Played on the one that's closest to this right corner pocket. Just wondering, can he play a little deft little shot here? Cue ball behind the black. Could snooker. Mark Williams and all everything here. No, missed it. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 32. 
Yeah, it feels like an opportunity missed, but that's been the story of this frame, really. It's uh, after the sort of exhibition almost that we saw at the end of the first session. It's a cagey start to the night. This is already in fact, the longest frame of the whole match. Oh, One. what a pot that is. Well, this is just a shot that's synonymous with Mark Williams and his technique and the way he plays the game. Just such a wonderful putter. Full-blooded, dead weight almost, fantastic. Six. Twelve. Mm, yeah, you say it all square and points. Well, he'd be very disappointed with the cue ball there. He's just let it drift towards that cushion. Can't get close to these reds. Cuba was always going back down the table, even so, terrific cue again. But this uh, green, it feels a bigger shot because obviously he's going to play for the red, he's going to take it on. Not this time. Mark Williams, 19. It. He might have got away with this. He's having a good look. Is he on the red? Maybe not. That is a stroke of luck, and he has to swerve this slightly. He could try and take the red on up into the green pocket. No, he's swerving around that one. Very dangerous. Great shot. position so put the yellow and get back on the yellow again oh, what an important frame this will be for Mark Williams Yeah, of course, it's one match, but it's two sessions. I'm sure Williams was happy to see the first one end when it did. O'Sullivan was on the rampage. But that was a few Eight. hours ago. 
We've restarted. It's been quite an edgy start. Williams needs brown and blue to win his first frame since the fourth. 12th. This is right, isn't it? These two great players putting on a show for this big crowd. Can't beat it. So, a 29-minute frame to open the evening. It's gone to Mark Williams, who stops O'Sullivan's run. O'Sullivan leads 5-4. The previous winners of this Johnston Plate Tour Championship, Ronnie O'Sullivan was the first back in 2019, Steve McGuire, Neil Robertson twice, Sean Murphy. It's a relatively Thank new event, friend, but it's friend. already become Mark established Williams as a break. really big one. Of course, the culmination of the Players' Series. Sullivan himself won the World Grand Prix, Mark Allen, the Players' Championship. Again, got his break right as he has been doing all week. Two cushion escape from Ronnie O'Sullivan. So I want to leave a free miss. ball when he has it. He's okay. We'll, we'll go back. Olivia Martil from Belgium doing the honours here. The officials have got a Busy few weeks ahead of them, the World Qualifiers start in the morning, of course, the Crucible in a couple of weeks. One up, please. Okay. Mark. Thank you. Yeah, hit the red, but... Of course, I'm very disappointed I'm leaving this red for Mark Williams here. Chance. One. between brown and green and back up down the right hand side of the table. Maybe screwing it in. Yeah, screwed it in. Played it more difficult. One. Oh, where's this blue gonna finish? Oh. Mark Williams nine. Yeah, Williams fortunate not to have left an easier red, certainly. And that's the thing, isn't it, for all the analysis that you can do and the records and all that, a little bit of ball run here and there, you know, could make a difference. It will at, at various points for both players.
Oh, he's taking this red on. Very missable. Very, very missable. Certainly not left anything easy here for Mark Williams. You need such a strong nerve, don't you, at this level? And he's demonstrated again. Tough pot, middle of the pocket. He's in again. And it's easy to say in interviews, oh, I'm going to go out and I'm going to take my shots on. You actually, though, when you're there, you've got to make the decision, I'm going to play that way or not. And he has done. And he continues to... When we talk about the World Championship qualifiers, you know, seven years ago, Mark Williams was in them. He didn't get through, and it was the 40th year at the Crucible. He didn't attend the celebrations. He was in a bad way. His wife, Joanne, helped him through that, and, of course, he teamed up with Sightright, and a year later, he won the, the World Championship again. It was a remarkable story, remarkable fortitude to dig yourself out 15. of a position where it looked like career might have been over. Well, his career and indeed this final are far from over. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Didn't cue that very nicely. Okay, he's on the red, but wanted to be on it straighter so he could stay on the black. Twenty four. Yeah, just showing his wonderful not only his talent but his temperament. Twenty eight. So cool. So courageous. when he has to be 29 clinical yeah and I'm sure Williams feels you know he can't afford to show O'Sullivan that he's been intimidated by the way he played 35. this afternoon he's not going to go into his shell he's going to say no I can do the same 36. Well, that's gone wrong. 43. Just didn't get enough top spin just to keep that. Cue ball spinning through the reds, stopped in its track. You see, I'm going to look to see does this red past the blue. It does. Well, as you can see, very difficult and cue ball very close to the red. <coughs> Got to be careful of a push a shot here as well. Oh, look at this for a shot. Look at this for a shot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just past the blue.
Great shot. How do you fancy this black, though? <laughs> Doesn't get any easier, does it? Yeah, but it's the type of shot that he likes. Doesn't mind playing off the cushion. But there is pressure on it. No pressure. No problem. Well, it's been a remarkable break, this. Another great shot. As you say, it's the pressure. You know, it's a massive occasion, this. A massive prize up for grabs. Williams is a couple of balls away from levelling up. Well, exactly the start to the night he was looking for. He's shown his guts, he's shown 58. his determination, his poise, all the characteristics in these big finals. Sixty-nine. Williams has compiled four centuries in the tournament. Seventy-seven. 78. Some of the balls he's potted, though, in this tournament. He can have his own hot shots uh, competition with himself, couldn't he? Yeah, he could have his own reel, couldn't he? <laughs> that red into the right centre with the cue ball was so close to. Oh, it's one of the best shots, not only of this match, but of the week, for sure. Eighty-four. Eighty-six. Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. Well, we eulogised over both players and their route to the final. And how they played in the careers and what they were going to serve up in this final. They certainly 98. served us up a treat. Yeah, Great snooker. And it's Mark Williams who has come to the fore as the evening begins. This for the century, it's his first to the final, it's the fourth of the final. What a final it's turning into. And what a break this Cool little double, is it, to finish? Oh, Mark Mark Williams, 104 and for Mark fifth. Williams. Showing once again what a courageous player, what a great player he is to level the final at 5-5. Five -five. Great start to the night then from Mark Williams. He's just made a 104 break. Thank That's you, his Ronnie. third century of the season. And an important one to level up at 5-5. Five -five. Thank you. Take your seats, please. Frame 11. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break.
these long matches, and we'll see it at the World Championship, of course. They often have their sort of rhythms. Williams on top in the first mini-session. O'Sullivan obviously completely dominated the second. So far, Mark Williams on top in this one. Foul and a miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Again, just looking for the thin edge. <laughs> Mark. Okay, Ronnie, thank you. Very aggressive safety shot from Mark Williams. Always when you hit the pack at that pace, you're always wary of a red going over a corner pocket. Good thing for Mark Williams is the black and the pink are tied up. last part it was over 22 minutes ago well. <coughs> yellow ball you know seven one Perfect connection on the red. And we've got Ronnie O'Sullivan here in a spot of butter. Played some good safety. Mark Williams in this match. It's a wonderful shot. So close to going in off there. That's a tremendous return. Nice acknowledgement from Mark Williams.
He's left running himself in a possible pot into the left centre, but doesn't come without risk. I think he's going to shape up to have a go at it. Yeah, he's having a look at it, picking his angle. shot he's on the green now can he put this green and get on the next red it's pretty good and putting this red he can bring oh. the pink into play here now as well Five. Nice ice break tonight, Ten. just thirty two so far, but seen it all week we've seen it in the first session what he's capable of doing three centuries remembering those four 11 Just seems to have finished dead straight here on the blue and he's having a good look at the yellow does it pass the green well it does No good. Thirteen. Well, you can see the annoyance because he's hoping that was the start of something. He played some good shots up to that point. Problem started though when he, he just finished straight on that blue. And from yellow, he lost his way. Just a little walk around the table, just calming himself. And also, you know, it gives a little hint of what it means to Ronnie O'Sullivan as well. <laughs> he wants to put on a show, he wants to win, he wants to win this battle. He wants to play well. Just a different feel again to this portion of the match than the second half this afternoon. Sullivan at the moment sort of being kept at bay and when he has been in hasn't so far been able to do much damage. Gotta be careful here. Delays. There's enough room to go around the back of this red. 
Enough room to go around the back of it. And that's exactly what he's done. Six. Is he looking at putting this red and stunning into the red just to the left of the black and trying to the black into play? That's what he's looking at. Very small window opportunity here for him. Oh, decided against it. Played the other shot. Mark Williams, six. Chance missed. Williams again finding the bolt cushion with the cue ball. As I say, keeping O'Sullivan at bay. And when he is missing, he's not leaving dead simple chances either. this red potable he had a look Ronnie before he went back to his chair Mark Williams now having a good look if he does or if he is able to cut it in the cue ball would be going very close to his bottom right corner pocket I think it's just too far down the table the red to cut it in
Well, it's normal. It's a normal shot that Williams that he gets a high percentage of. Well, he missed that by a long, long way. Chance for Ronnie O'Sullivan, one he's been waiting desperately for, with, particularly with the black now and open play. One. Yeah, as ever, looking to find some fluency. It's been stop start, it's been difficult. At times the balls are run awkwardly, At times he's made mistakes, but looking to turn it all around and just start scoring again. That's the key to victory for him. So much, much of it as well is about attitude, and he's shown a really good one, hasn't he, in this tournament. He, he's been speaking about the fact he's been ringing Dr. Steve Peters several times a day. It's been a great partnership for him. Hi. Spoken really well, I think, in interviews, positively, and just not getting on his own case too much. Yeah, all good signs coming from him. And loving this arena. And the crowds, of course, as well, have come to see him. Ten. Eleven. Eighteen. Black available now into both corner pockets. Just going to be a little bit careful with this shot. Yeah, just a little bit wary that he may be snookered on the other red. 19. He hasn't played that one too well. Bit of work to do with the cue ball here. Mm, gone wrong again. This would really annoy him. 24. The frame at his mercy. Well, that was a poor shot by his standards. Run your seven, oh. 24. Didn't want to back away did he and he didn't play this one well he's left it and he's annoyed you can see the frustration just starting to bubble a little within Ronnie O'Sullivan one. Mark Williams knows this is a big visit a big big visit he will have picked up on the signs himself Eight. Nine. Yeah, it was such a strange shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan, just born out of frustration and not continuing the break. It's a very risky pot to the left center. A nice little cannon on the two reds there from Mark Williams. Great chance now 16. to steal another frame. Seventeen.
28. Thirty-four. So, Mark Williams, still going here in this key frame, you feel. Sullivan frustrated at the lack of fluency, frustrated 35. at things just not quite going his way. Handed the chance here. I'm sure he feels Williams is going to take it. Forty. That's the key shot. Nice pace, get on the green. 42. He's played it well. Six points in the lead, so he won't need the sort of pink that's offered spot. Green, brown and blue will be enough. 45. And could be a very important frame. Context of this whole match as it unveils. Forty-nine. Yes, Ronnie O'Sullivan will have to find another burst of inspiration. We know he can certainly do that. We saw it this afternoon, but not yet this evening. And Mark Williams has taken advantage. And Mark Williams back in front. Firing a snooker, of course, 18 in it with 13 on. Mark Williams, 54. It's a good sign that Sullivan is going to play for it, actually. He may have just wanted to get on with the next frame, but going to give it a go. 9, wasn't it? Now, yeah. traditional here, sort of in or over. Yeah, if you don't pot it, you sort of force your opponent to, or certainly make them keep it out. Williams, who has edged back in front in the Tour Championship finally, leads Ronnie O'Sullivan 6-5. Well, it's been a great week here at Manchester Central, a new venue, of course, for snooker. We started with the mixed doubles, and all week we've been here at the Tour Championship, and the fans have turned out in huge numbers. We're right in the city centre. There's lots to do around and about. Real good vibe there's been to the whole week. The crowd have played their part in helping the players to produce the goods, and they're watching here. A fascinating final now, 6-5 it is to Mark Williams against Ronnie O'Sullivan. So Williams is going to win this mini section. Can he get the two-frame lead that he had at 3-1 restored? Very fascinating final this.
as, as Sullivan returns, we wait for Williams. But, uh, well, it's intriguing now, Ken. Yeah, very intriguing, isn't it? Um, yeah, well, he's very frustrated with how the evening has gone so far, and particularly that last frame. Williams has played some good match play snooker, some good safety, and produced some good breaks when he's needed to. Thank you, frame 12. Mark Williams to bring. So frame 12, last frame before the mid-session interval. Yeah, I mean, it, from O'Sullivan's perspective, it, it's quite straightforward in this mini-session. He just hasn't scored yet. Foul and a miss from your Sullivan four. <laughs> yeah, can we check Queenie, please? <coughs> well, they're just asking. <laughs> to see the video still, just to check it's in the right spot. Just come to my side a little bit. Queenie Lou there on the marker's desk. More. A little bit more. And this side a little bit, really a little bit. Okay. You could hit the, the pack, huh? Okay, Ronnie, thank you. Foul, and a miss. Well, no. That makes Daniel a difference Sullivan's because he'll definitely be going back here. And he'll get a warning. He's got to hit the red this time. Otherwise, he will lose the frame. Check this for me. Yeah. So he'll play a different shot. He's got to yeah. warn him. To... <laughs> he definitely wasn't going to miss it this time. Yeah, he just about allowed Ollie to get the warning in before playing the shot. quality return of safety for Mark Williams. This looks a bit pacey. But okay.
Yeah, once again, very pacey with the cue ball, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Mark Williams definitely getting the better in the safety department at the moment and dominating. Blue sort of come to Ronnie's rescue slightly. Couldn't have a go. Not those two reds just left to the pink. And once again, another good safety. Using the yellow as a blocking ball down the right hand side of the table. Got to avoid the black here. But once again, Mark Williams has his hand on the table. He can have a go at one of these reds. Great pot. He's actually down at 27% today on long potting. You know, it's such a strength of his, but that one was uh, beautifully struck. If anything, a little too well. Well, it's just finished nowhere here, I think. Six. Yeah, that little bunch of the, the pink and the reds around it, they were very tightly packed. It. Needed a lot more pace and a little bit more spin on the ball. Mark Williams, six. Well, what can Ronnie do with this safety return? Look at that cue ball, pretty close to the ball cushion. Oh, once again. Another mistake. Yeah, what's changed is that the complete freedom he was playing with in those second four frames this afternoon, gone, been sort of hemmed in here tonight. Every shot seems big. He put under pressure. One. Mark Williams continuing to pile on the pressure, knocking balls like that in, and he's on the pink. And that was just a wonderful opening red. Seven. Typical Mark Williams pot. And have a look at the reds now. Try and get the black back on the spot straight away. Eight. The one red, I mean, he has a plenty of choices here. There is one red, the one that's just to the right of the black spot. Probably blocking the path of the black when it's respotted into the right corner. He may try and get on that here. Doesn't have to, there's plenty of options, as I said, but that's one he'd like to get out of the way. <coughs> Good play on the one, just below the black spot, just to the right. Need a top cushion. Needs the bounce. Thank you. Not on the red he wanted to be on, but 
He's still okay. He may have to go up for a blue or ball colour off this red next red. time he's on like a little bit better he can put this red and just stun up into the gap for the black into the opposite corner delicate little shot this oh lovely 20. beautiful back in prime position yeah it's mark williams he's queuing with freedom now isn't it so what a chance to Win the mini session 4 0, lead the final by two. 27. Twenty-eight. Mark Williams, the winner of twenty-five world ranking titles, including of course three world championships. He's already the second oldest winner, having uh, triumphed at the British Open this season. Ray Reardon at fifty, the oldest. Thirty five. But he's certainly not playing an old man's game, is he? This is such great viewing. And at the moment, Williams, with all the momentum, three hours playing time. Yeah, for everything that he's 43. won in the game, if he did manage to win tonight, it would have to 43. rank up there as one of his best performances of his glittering career without a shadow of a doubt against the greatest in the game really producing some wonderful match play snooker with the concentration knows how important this frame going into the mid-session interval is 52 just wobbled a bit didn't it that one yeah, it's 10 years since he's beaten O'Sullivan in a ranking event, and he's only beaten him ever in one ranking final. That was the 2000 Grand Prix. A one-sided head-to-head. There was a danger it would be a one-sided final, the way O'Sullivan played post-interval this afternoon. 59. But he's been pegged back, hemmed in, kept out tonight. A couple of pots for Williams to take a 7-5 lead at the final interval and to set up what is sure to be a thrilling finish to this Tour Championship 67. final. Seventy-five. Seventy-six. Here we are again, another Sunday night, another thrilling snooker final. Eighty-three. Eighty-four. Ninety-one. Could so easily, of course, have gone out in round one. He made that miracle clearance 92. against Tom Ford, who'd made four centuries against him. Those close frames that he won against Judd Trump. Survived the, the mini comeback from Mark Allen last night. Now then, he still 99. needs the red for the century. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. 
Oh, shame, but what a terrific display from the Welshman here this evening, the break of 99. He's won all four frames since they resumed, and this final has turned again as they head off to the last interval. Mark Williams leads Ronnie O'Sullivan, 7-5. He leads Ronnie O'Sullivan by seven frames to five. Neil Falls has joined Phil Yates in the commentary box to take us through to the conclusion. But first, to reintroduce the players, here's our MC, Phil Seymour. Would you please welcome back to the table your referee, Olivier Martial, and your finalists, Mark Williams and Ronnie O'Sullivan. I said this afternoon, intervals change matches. A three-hour gap between sessions most certainly did. Ronnie O'Sullivan, brilliant for four frames. For the last four, the opposite. Mark Williams in charge, three quickly, away please. from victory. Thank you, frame 13. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. This wind taking over his sails, Sydney, these uh, first four frames. A slowish start with a prolonged frame, and then Williams stepping up. I mean, that century made in uh, the second frame of the evening was, well, an extraordinary break, really. So many hard pots in it. If you get close to the pot and you don't even get the pot, the cue ball still does what you hoped it would do, and that's head down the table. When you miss them by six inches, then you've got no control over the cue ball. Okay, thanks, Mark. And it's going to hit a thin edge here. Well, he's got Olivier Martin on the case to have a look. Well, he wanted to hit a thin edge. Oh, and a miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan on the four. I'm sure he'll get another try at it. I think it was a slightly clearer path than that. So does Williams. Yeah, both, yeah. Want it more to the left? Yeah, sorry. Touch. Okay, Ronnie, thank you. So often this season, the end game of Ronnie O'Sullivan has been excellent. Pulled away from Luca Brussel to win in Riyadh against Gary Wilson in the semi finals here. Produced his best when it mattered. It won't be lost on Williams that he's very dangerous still. Played it at a fairly unnaturally slow pace. 
It'd be an easier shot had he punched it in, but he wanted a hold for the pink. Absolutely perfectly played shot. There was not a Seven. lot of room to land on that red, and he couldn't have been on it any easier. But now, can he get through the reds onto the black, perhaps? Or would he have to take a shot to plant a lower value colour? He'd love to be on the black, of course. Oh, yes. What a beautiful Eight. little pattern that is. It looked nothing, but it was a superb control. Sixteen. I think it's important for O'Sullivan's mood that he makes a few here. That will not improve his mood. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 23 just felt that he was going to start coming back on the resumption as has been the case in all of the frames and sessions so far and then out of the blue I mean I did not see him missing this one again he might have been thinking about getting the black the perfect angle but wow what a shot that is wow I'll tell you what, that's a very inventive what? shot. Many players would not have played that. Williams is a real shot maker. And that was a clever shot to take on. It was a gamble. Seven. Most players, I'm sure, would have played to get on a colour to perhaps go into the reds, but he did everything in one fell swoop there. Couldn't agree more, Neil. Some players wouldn't have considered it. Other players wouldn't have thought of it. Could pay rich dividends. Eight. Nineteen. Twenty. He's been quite brilliant all week, isn't he, Mark Williams? That clearance against Tom Ford was... Well, Twenty-seven. Something else. And I don't know if that's just giving him some belief that he could go all the way. He's not been phased or stressed out by anything as usual. His record against O'Sullivan we know is not great, Thank but you. he's not frightened of him or anything like that. It's just he's playing the, the greatest ever. And uh, the last time they played, Williams did win in the Masters. He's given 
and Sullivan plenty to think about this evening. All of his experience. 35. He needed the interval. And Sullivan swamped him. 36. And it seems quite a long time ago since then. Plenty has hadn't happened and gone his way. Be a big extension of his lead if he can take this. Didn't hold back again. Would have been unlucky not to be on something. Forty-four. He said he was going to be bold, and he has been. Also, though, measured, focused. The way he won that match against Tom Ford that Neil was talking about. It was as though the, the hand of destiny played its part. So many times over the years, players have won tournaments after miraculously escaping when they seemed destined for early defeat. Is this going to be another such instance? 50. Thanks. 51. Yes, he just wants to know where he can land the cue ball to be on the bottom red of the two. So again, that's... 58. At the time, it was three shots away that he was considering. Might look at the pink. Black, of course, most likely shot. Pink would almost guarantee him being on the red. Just got to get the shot right, pace-wise. No worries at all. 65. Just this red and any high-value killer. 66. Looks like being five on the trot if the pin goes in. For the Welsh potting machine. <laughs> this machine is not malfunctioning. 72. Seventy-nine. Watching this, you would never believe that Mark Williams has only beaten Ronnie O'Sullivan twice in the last 22 years. Now he stands two frames away. Eighty-five. From a rare and very satisfying victory. It's been another marvellous break. I mean, as I say, I think the first shot of it where he got the bunch open from a red. To a red over a pocket. All of these things that were showing a lot of foresight from a very surprising O'Sullivan miss, let's be honest. And when he missed, he probably still can't quite believe that he missed sitting down there. And he has paid the full price. Ninety-nine. 
105. Scoring like a good and Mark Williams. <laughs> he must be feeling so confident. Every reason to be, because he's taken this final by the scruff of the neck. Even a genius in any field can have an off day. Thank you, frame 14. Mark Williams to break. For Ronnie O'Sullivan, it's more an off night. There's still time to turn it around. But the sands of time are running low. I wonder if all the reds are in the way of each other or is anything that could possibly go. Well, I think they're all in each other's way. Oh, he's got away with one there, O'Sullivan. Maybe you can try and pot this. They read off the other one, but I mean, he's such an inventive player, you never quite know what he's going to do next. These days, very adventurous. What's he got now, O'Sullivan? He doesn't always drop this far behind in one of these sort of huge finals and have to turn it on, but he's going to have to try something. I think that red in the last frame took him completely by surprise. I don't even think he was thinking about the red, and of course, like anyone else, that's when you do miss them, considering position. Taking it for granted. We've talked about O'Sullivan's huge lead in their head-to-head -head confrontations. They've been involved in five previous finals. And O'Sullivan's won four of those. Williams, though, evergreen. Opening red was slightly more difficult than it looked. It was just off straight. Eight. You have to be able to locate the angle on a lot of those awkward pots. Nine. Well, did to say he was a single ball potter? He, he kind of is, but there's so much more to his game than just that. The other thing that's remarkable about Mark Williams for me, he's a player resurrected. 15. At one point, I was convinced that his future did not hold tournament wins. He's the reigning British Open champion. And of course, if he 22. wins this evening, what a route it would be to this title beating in successive three. matches the three highest-ranked players in the world. Thirty. Thirty-one. 
38. Thirty-nine. Well, this is a little thinner than he would like, and also, he will naturally is going to head back to bulk unless he plays it very slowly. Beautiful, beautiful recovery. It almost dead weight to the pocket, that black. So the cue ball didn't disappear. 47. Oh, he's in a real groove, isn't he? Goodness <laughs> me. 52. Fifty-three. The best compliment you can pay Williams. He's giving 60. O'Sullivan at the moment an unpalatable taste of his own medicine. This is what O'Sullivan 61. often does. To his opponent. Well, he didn't mean to do that, but it won't matter because uh, this red now that he's on didn't mean to push the other red just safe. I can't see it making much difference. Yeah, I mean, O'Sullivan was terrific from 3 1 down. 69. But he didn't play any better than this because you can't really. just looks as good as ever as good as ever 76. and that is saying something isn't it all the things he's achieved 78. must be in a hurry taking two pots at a time 78 Mark Williams, 78, and the finish. The city of Manchester proudly boasts two orchestras. Mark Williams is playing like a symphony orchestra, hitting all the right notes to be one away from the title. Thank you, Ronnie. Mark Williams has been brilliant this evening. Take your seats quickly, please. Ronnie O'Sullivan, yet to win a Thank frame you, frame in the 15. session. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. If he doesn't win this one, it's over. But just a cautionary tale for all you fans of Mark Williams, of which there are many. He has lost a ranking event final. 10-9 from 9-5 up before. UK Championship against John Higgins. And in one of those frames, Higgins needed a snooker. So don't completely discount a, a full-scale O'Sullivan comeback just yet. Yes, and I always think back a couple of years ago, this Tour Championship when... Uh... John Higgins was involved in one of those matches that was even further. This time he was in front 9-4, Neil Robertson pipped him, so it isn't over. But uh, if Mark Williams keeps knocking everything in, it will be. Because he's not making any errors. That's O'Sullivan's biggest problem.
first time a Sullivan Soji shot did not really threaten. Unusually, slightly ill-directed and got the pace wrong. You'll be annoyed about that because at this level you can actually get an advantage from hand on the table the shot he had. Can't afford any more errors, of course, now. Unusual with the three bolt colours down the centre. It's quite uh, a little bit more difficult to actually get the cube behind one of them. Because if you do, there's a big target down the centre of the table. And it would be troublesome. Now here's an opportunity to slip in behind yellow and green. Uh, he's just misjudged it too. Although it's perfectly weighted. The white weaved its way through all of the traffic. <laughs> the shot I'll remember from this tournament was a green oh. knocked in early in that extraordinary clearance against Tom Ford. That one was also a pressure ball. Is he in to win? Well, it's been magnificent tonight, and he's Ten. ever since that O'Sullivan easy red missed the right corner. That's been 200 points in favour. 11. Sullivan has said nothing, nothing to go at. A lot of time to reflect on things. Sixteen. <clears throat> However, pink and black, not easy to get on. Clearly the pinks have completely blocked off. Black is mostly. Can't assume he's just going to keep potting difficult balls until uh, they shake hands. Not that easy a table. He might be able to free the ping here. Might take that risk to make things a little easier if he could achieve it. No, picked off the lone red. 22. <laughs> 23. Just caught that red slightly too thick, even though he potted it, and that's why the cue ball did not make the desired journey. If he could win the frame here, it'd be quite something. Because the balls aren't really there. Certainly not the colours. 29. He's playing magnificent, isn't he? He really is. He's in a very special place mentally. That bubble of concentration. Now, 
Here's the shot that might free the black. The red above it to free the red to the right of it. Mm, 35. Not achieved properly. Never got into the cue ball. Need to zip it across a little more. Big moment this. If he achieves this shot, he's probably going to take him very close to the winning line. And when you're inhabiting the zone like Mark Williams is, any kind of misjudgment is annoying. Mark Williams, 35. He's giving nothing there. Is a better safety shot from Osullivan. This time he has found the centre of the table. <laughs> Last couple of shots have just turned the balance slightly for the first time in frames. <laughs> well, look at that for a shot, though. What a shot! Demoralising for Ronnie O'Sullivan. That's like a, a shot that another Mark Selby would be proud to pull off, and he's back in that department. Hold on a minute. One. Yeah, big fluke because he has on the yellow at the angle. If he wants to, to take out the four reds here, whether he plays it or not, I don't know. So that's what he's tried. Oh. Wow, that is... That is criminal. That is criminal. I, mean, I don't know whether there might have been any kind of a plant there or what. Have a look at this now. No, he couldn't have seen that. That just didn't... That just appeared. It was not a, a set to the right corner that he didn't notice and could have avoided. could do no more there O'Sullivan he completely hit the jackpot right in the target with no reward the only saving grace if that is the appropriate phrase was that he didn't leave an easy red had he done so it could have been curtains no, but maybe there's that horrible feeling that it isn't going to be his night having seen that happen as well this is a tough shot, especially when you had no table time. Yeah, critical time. I mean, he could always play that right-hand red for safety, but he doesn't really want to bring it into play. So he's got another shot that he can play. He's got a red that he can take on. But he knows it's dangerous, and he, he feels that it, if, should he miss it, he undoes a lot of good that he's already done in this frame. 
It might feel if you place it to pot, it's got to go in. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be missing very much at all, though. That's the point. He broke down in position early on that black, the cannon. They're all going smack in the middle of the pocket. He was a little higher on that shot than normal because the, the green was a hindrance. At least he's knocked another red safe, and given that he's 39 ahead, that's obviously to his advantage. Going to try and get the yellow safe now as well in the left cushion. He hasn't quite done. Mark Williams won. Well, the crowd want O'Sullivan, but he's not getting anything. Feeding off scraps. Well, he's been so accurate on these sort of shots, but, it, you know, it's extremely difficult, this hand on cushion. Can he keep knocking these shots in? He's human, that we've discovered. There was movement on that as well. That will do, thank you. Well, he didn't even take his time on that shot. He got down and hit it. Out of sync, out of rhythm. Chance of the collie wobbles. You've got to stop shouting. You're pulling players off. Thank you. He looks uncomfortable about something out there, O'Sullivan. One. Six. Still a way back into this match, but it's going to have to happen right now. Body language isn't telling me it's about to happen. Seven. It's a horrid table to solve. And for the second time this evening, he's left a pot short 12. of the target. In frame 11, it was a red to the middle pockets. Now Williams gets in again. Now Sullivan's timing is clearly askew. Needs a colour with the, this. Seven. Uh, these are tough reds, but uh, Williams lines them up pretty well. Not this time. Mark the Williams, winning line seven. is the winning line, isn't it? No matter who you are, and you've still got to get over it. I'll tell you what, I bet Mark Williams wishes he had put the yellow safe when he attempted it a while ago. Well, he's kind of in between here. Six. Yes, he's on the red. The interesting thing is, just check to see if it goes to the top left. So he must have played on it in to the middle. And he's going to have to play it across there, I think. Oh. 
Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. Well, he's not thinking about cutting this in, is he? It looks mightily thin. I don't think that's on. Don't know if he could double it to right middle or whether he just wants to play a great safety shot. He's played the double. He's got it. <laughs> to be honest with you, the last few shots, O'Sullivan's his spirit looks to have been broken by Williams. You've seen it for a frame or so. Mark Williams, a one. 29 in front, 27 on. O'Sullivan needs one snooker. But Neil's at the, the nail on the head, as he normally does. O'Sullivan, dispirited, crestfallen. And now surely Britain, yeah. indeed, it was a cracking final. The final frame, that was the epitome of scrappy. But Mark Williams will not be bothered in the slightest. Ronnie O'Sullivan's had a great season. Apart from four frames this afternoon, a great final. They call him Willow. He's not a weeping Willow tonight. He's absolutely over the moon and with every justification. Let's go down to Bob on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, may we have another round of applause for two of our sports all-time greats. Ronnie, we very rarely see you lose in major finals. It's been more than two years and it's taken a great to deny you a sixth title of the season. Um, uh, listen, I, I think he's been the best player, most consistent player for the last five years. The way he's been hitting the ball, very rarely does he play a poor match. Um, the way he's played this week, um, the way he played tonight. Yeah, he's just an amazing player, really. He's so talented. Um, and now he seems, I think he's better now than he's ever been, to be honest with you. I mean, he's so compact. He's got Lee Walker he works very hard with. He just seems so strong, you know, and uh, I tried. I'll give it everything I did this afternoon to, to, to stay in the match. But he's just so consistent and so, yeah, you might, you know, get the better in one session. But if you don't keep playing top level snooker, he'll just, he'll just eat you alive. So, you know, um, I think I've done well to get five frames today, to be honest with you. <laughs> And, and you mentioned this afternoon yeah. the way you played after the mid-session break was magnificent to forge the lead coming into tonight. Yeah, well, I knew I had to do something, you know, and um, so, you know, I just put everything into it. But then to keep trying to put everything into it, it's not easy, you know. The game has to come pretty comfortable, pretty easy. And like I said, for the last five years, Mark seems to be doing that better than anybody. I think if he was to dedicate his whole life to it, he'd probably be number one in the world, but he doesn't. He likes to play golf and chill out and enjoy his life. But, um, you know, but he still don't do bad for someone that just plays about the sport, you know? So, no, listen, he, he's a deserved winner, a fantastic player, probably the most talented snooker player I've ever seen, and um, he deserves his victory. And a word... Spoken, spoken with the grace of a champion. And a word on the crowd here in Manchester, Ronnie. I think it's fair to say we've all loved coming here after Hull last year. They've been terrible this week, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell you, they're, 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 um, you know, London's very vo vocal. London's very vocal, but um, this is close. You know, they they really get behind the players. They. Um, they really supported this tournament unbelievably well and hopefully it's here to stay. It's a great venue, great place, love coming here. So hopefully it stays here and you know, come, come back for many more years to come. Ronnie, thank you very much indeed and the best of luck at the World Championship. Your runner-up, Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> Mark Williams, tour champion. You're still quite good at this despite what you say. Uh, yeah, not bad. I played, you know, I played well all, all day. I was 3-1 uh, up, <clears throat> and then I went 5-3 down. He played unbelievable, and I thought, sometimes you just got to hold your hands up, and you're just too good. But tonight, you know, I took it to him. I, pl I played well, and, you know, it's nice to have the family up here. Yeah, he, he comes everywhere. These two only come up to watch Ronnie, to be honest with you. <laughs>
Uh, they, they say they support me, but they ain't really. But I, I mean, the crowd has been full week. Give everybody uh, great support, and thanks to everybody. I can't believe I won, to be honest. And, I, and look, I can tell. I can tell there's a little bit of emotion there, Mark. You're such a nice guy. And. The week has been spellbinding. You, you sat down in that first pre-match interview and said, I'm jet-lagged, I've got back from China having played pool. You then produced one of the greatest clearances we've ever seen to win the decider against Tom Ford, and you've beaten the world's number one, two and three to land this tour championship. It's been magnificent from you this week. Yeah, it's not bad for a part-timer. I'm a part-time pool player now. Uh, but, yeah, what can I say? I mean... I never thought I was going to win tournaments at 48. I'm 49 now, and I just won another one. So who knows? The World Championship's around the corner. He's the man to beat. You never know. I'll try my best. And, Mark, it's not the same as winning three world titles, but bearing in mind how you've done it, who you've beaten, and in front of this great crowd, how close is this to, to the top of all your now 26 ranking titles? It's got to be up there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's up there. I think, uh, like Ronnie said, I think I'm a more better all-round player now than I've ever been, I think. Uh, considering I don't practice that much, to be honest, but, you know, I just try my absolute uh, nuts off. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, look. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't really say much. I'm just absolutely over the moon. And to have all the is brilliant. I mean, I beat Judd Trump, Mark Allen, Ronnie O'Sullivan, three best players in the world. I am, you know, I've won. Not, not easy, but I've won, you know, quite well. Mark, I know you don't like people saying this, but you are one of the all-time greats, and you've proved it again tonight. Your champion, Mark Williams. <laughs> Would you please now welcome your presentation party, the CEO of WST, Simon Brownell, and Megan Esmond, the marketing director from Johnston's Paint. We welcome firstly our runner-up, collecting the runner-up medal prize money of £60,000, Ronnie O'Sullivan! <laughs> and now your winner, collecting the winner's medal, the trophy, prize money of £150,000, and the title of 2024, Johnston's Paint Tour Champion, Mark Williams! family, a proud family man. The three boys uh, obviously loved their day out in Manchester. Joey's wife, their young Joel apparently is quite a handy snooker player himself. So uh, we might see him with his hands on a trophy one of these days. But listen, we're not a million miles from Wales. He's got a lot of friends out there, uh, Mark. And he has played ever so well. You know, he's a worthy, worthy champion. Ken and Stephen, uh, there was almost a little bit of emotion, I think, there as well from Mark Williams. Yeah, I mean, well, why, why wouldn't have been? What, what he's achieved from, from a few years ago, I was almost giving the game up, to, to, to coming back to where he is today now, obviously he's one of the best players of all time. And as, as we said, he's beaten number three, number two, number one in the world this week. He's, he's not expecting to win that many tournaments. He should, I mean, I'm not surprised he's winning because he's still playing that, that high standard of snooker. But, um, you know, he's, he's, he's been one of my best mates in snooker for a long, long time. I'm delighted for him. Yeah, I think of all the tournaments that he's won over the years I think this will go down as one of his greatest victories without a shadow of a doubt because the guys 
the guys that he's played, number one, two, and three, and of course, that wonderful clear against uh, Tom Ford, when he was one or two balls from being out in the first round. It's just an incredible performance, and particularly from 5-3 down, to win seven frames in a row against the greatest player that's ever played. Incredible performance. And of course he won the British Open at the start of our season. He's ended our season with the uh, Tour Championship. Uh, well, listen, we're going to reflect more on this. We're going to get more reaction and take ourselves through the... He closed this one out after the break. Don't go anywhere.